Willowbank and Magra Felt Sky Blues faced off in the Under-13 Premier Divisional League Cup Final. Magra Felt Sky Blues launched on the front foot through Fergal McLarnan, who cut back into the area, but the shot trickled into the hands of goalkeeper Kiss and Titani Braniff. A Magra Felt Sky Blues delivery from the left was agonisingly beyond the touch of a flood of teammates in the box. MSB then almost took advantage through Keelan Murray, whose shot was narrowly wide of the left upright. Their front-footed start continued when a corner fell invitingly for Rocco Devlin, but Titani Branagh held his distance attempt. A mazy dribble by Devlin looked to have unlocked the Willowbank defence and set Murray on his way, but the linesman's flag cut his movement short. MSB's onslaught continued, but Titani Braniff plucked a left-sided corner out of the air. There was little the keeper could have done from their next set-piece opportunity, though. MSB's corner was sent to the edge of the area, where a thumping drive by Daniel Anderson missiled into the bottom left corner for an emphatic opener. Willowbank had not really troubled MSB shot stopper Fiacre Conlon up to this point, but they would need to now in order to claw level. Meanwhile, an ambitious effort from distance by Anderson had Titani Braniff on his guard. Willowbank's Ronan Arthurs won a free kick from range for his side. The attempt was to sail over the crossbar, however. Willowbank then clinched possession and drove up the pitch with inspiration from winner Kabuya on this front. They sought to weave an opening for a shot at goal, although the move petered out before half time was signalled. A high press threatened to open up a chance for Magrafelt Sky Blues at the start of the second half, though it was skewed wide. MSB then won a free kick around 40 yards out from goal to the right. The cross was glanced wide by Devlin at the edge of the six yard area. Anderson's cross was then deflected only as far out as Tom Farmer, although he fired off target as he searched the bottom left. Willowbank had an eye for danger when Lee Cook found Beto and Habo on the left side. His shot after an inside cut was spilled by Conlon, but he gathered just ahead of Kabuya at the last. Appeals for a penalty were waved off when Kabuya went down in the area as he cut the ball back inside. Willowbank were showing a sense of urgency to claw back level in this final and it was a scramble in the area as Conlon punched before Bobby Crossett stuck a bit in to allay the danger. That proved to be the last chance. Full time Willowbank nil, Magra felt sky blues one.